All right, guys, um, I'm super, super stoked. Um, I got this to work. This is my first time getting this to work. Uh, my ladder is a little bit dim, um, but I can still read it. Um, but what we're looking at is uh, molecular identification of mating types in Porticeps militaris. Um, and you don't need a sequence of DNA to do this. You can just uh, identify it through uh, the gel electrophoresis. Um, so the mating, the MAT1 mating type is a, a closer to 500 base pairs and the MAT2 uh, mating type is, uh, da, 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 let me check on here, is closer to 250 base pairs, um, which you can tell the, the, on the, uh, from the two brighter bands that are on the right side, the one that's not down as much, um, that one's closer to 500 and the one that's down a little bit more is closer to uh, 300, 200 base pairs, um, which is about right for the MAT1 and MAT2. Uh, genes in Cordyceps militaris. Um, so basically in layman's terms, their Cordyceps mushrooms can only mate with opposite mating types, with like boy can only mate with girl um, for humans. Um, they, Cordyceps has two mating type locusts, and on each of the locusts there is, uh, well for the Mat 1, um, which is uh, Mat Alpha, has two um, genes on that locust that can mate with the one gene on the mat DMG, um, if I'm not mistaken. If I am mistaken, I'll put it in the video um, to correct myself. Uh, but this is really cool. So what I know, I have eight wells that were filled with um, with my samples that I ran through the PCR. And each, for the first two wells is number one, second two wells is number two. Uh, third two wells is number three, and fourth two wells is number four. And so my number three has a mat two mating type, and my number four has a mat one mating type. And if you look over on the far, far left, there's a very dim band um, showing that my number one is also um, a mat one mating type. So my number one and my number four can mate with my number three. Um, and that's why I know so far I'll have to run the number two again um, and I have a bunch more to run to test these ascospores, so I'll be doing this for a while. Um, but super, super cool, um, so I can know which ones of my single ascospore cultures I can meet with each other. So we have single cultures um, that are hopefully gonna produce really, really beautiful cordyceps mushrooms at a commercial scale. And the more that we learn about the molecular um, biology of cordyceps, uh, we might be able to understand why they degrade into non-fruiting cultures at, in such a fast uh, time span. Um, so lots more to learn. Uh, as you can tell, I've, I'm not very fluent in what I'm doing right now, but at least I know enough to get this done. And I'm very, very excited about it. And hopefully we can all learn together. Uh, stay tuned, propagate and mycelium.